During the gamification um, Tech Tuesday, I talked about the fact that I would um, do an additional video on games that are now available in Moodle. So this is the video for that, and it's, like I said, on Moodle games. Now, this is a new add-on, and most of the games rely on one of two things. Either um, questions that you already have set up in your Moodle course for quizzes, or a glossary of terms that you have set up in your Moodle class. And I made a glossary to demo this, because I didn't have one, called Tech Terms. And the act of adding a glossary is really easy. I'll show you how to do that first because the other things build on that many times. You add an activity or resource and you just choose glossary. And when you click add, you name what the glossary is. And then, um, so I'm going to call it terms. And after you you don't have to change anything else you can just save and display and now you can go through and add words and definitions and I've already done that um, with this tech terms here I'm gonna go ahead and delete the one I just made so I can kinda of show you the one that I already have made so here you can see there's a bunch of terms I've already added to add those terms all I did was hit add an entry and then type in the name and then the definition of it and once I type it in I just hit save changes you can have attachments if you want to but that's all I did to add those in there so all of the um, ones I have now are in this um, glossary that the other things can then use as far as the games. Now, you can set up games to be open and unlimited to use during free time. You can use the re Moodle restrictions to say you have to have done so well on any particular item to uh, be able to do the game. That's up to you. I'm going to show you some of the games, but not all the games, because I don't really uh, think I need to show all of them to you. So the new ones all have this kind of chessboard sitting next to them as the new game things you have available to you. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you actually is Crossword, because that's the first one that comes straight out of the glossary. So if I click Crossword and click Add, uh, it can be based on the glossary questions or a very specific quiz. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say glossary. If I had more than one glossary, if I had left that other one there, it would be there as well. I'm going to just let it based on uh, those tech terms and if there was a category inside there, but I, I don't have that. I just have that glossary. Uh, after that, I can come down here and say some options for the crossword puzzle. I can say the maximum number of columns and rows is 10, minimum number of words maybe 8, and the maximum I'm going to say is 20. I can allow spaces in the words or not allow spaces in the words if I want to. Uh, and then I basically just hit save and display, and this is what they see. So if they're on the course, they would see crossword I can be obviously more specific than that when I made it. It doesn't have to be crossword on computer terms. And then I can go back to this. So we've got this uh, crossword on computer terms now. And if a student clicks on it, it's going to say that by default you're going to get the highest grade it can be assigned a grade um, or it can be just something you allow them to do and there's the attempt the quiz now it comes up to a crossword puzzle that they click on where they want to answer so I'm looking at that one and I'm one across peripheral component interconnect oh I just added that term PCI and I hit OK and it goes in there and you can see how the crossword works three down the brain of a computer. They should know that's the CPU, especially since they already got the first letter. And that's the way it goes. They go in there and they can play that game. You can um, use the restricted access like on all the other items and say, hey, you can only use this if you have a grade in the chapter two 
test, we'll say the BIOS quiz, the BIOS quiz has to be, you know, greater than 90% in order to waste time uh, playing that game. In fact, I'm going to poke it in the eye. No one even sees the game unless they first get a... a uh, a 90% on that quiz. So now I've, I'm going to go ahead and save and go back to the course. You can see it up there, but no one even sees that. It's hidden otherwise, unless they first get a 90% on that quiz. So you can have rewards of games that are related to the content of your class based on their performance on stuff. Likewise, you could make it so that you get a one game if you got below a 80% and a different game if you got above an 80%. But that's what the crossword is and, and the restrictions on that work just like the restrictions on anything else. So you don't even have to make them show up unless someone's done a particular level in the course. So that's the crossword. The cryptex is basically the same except for it's a hidden word game. So I'm just going to leave the word the way it is and I'm just going to hit save and display and you'll see what a cryptex looks like. So in this one, uh, basically they click on the, um, the where it says answer. So they, they read refers to how much data you can send through the network and it is usually measured in BPS. And I click on that and now it lets me type in the answer. And it's on there, right there, bandwidth right there. So they can look for the answers in the cryptex and when they answer it, it highlights it and they get a score and that's basically what the cryptex. So you see I only have 19% of the things right right now because that's all I've answered. Uh, most people don't ever mess with this on the computer and if I could, I could go through there and try to find it, if I know what the answer is, I could just type in BIOS and say OK and then it's going to highlight that one as well and you can see there's my grade just went up on that so again it can be a graded activity you can restrict access all through the settings you can do that just like with the other ones I'm going to expand all so this one is based on a glossary again you can make it ba based on a question category uh, and I can say hey this is all out of chapter four um, questions I can do it out of the glossary um, I can say here I can say how many columns and rows if I want to be that specific and you saw I didn't set any of those things when I was setting it up initially I just let um, let the default settings go as I was setting it up but I can again do the restrictions if I want to say you have to have a set in grade you have to have a certain thing completed uh, I can set up those restrictions uh, just as well with this one so that is the cryptex one the next one that we have for it uh, or added to Moodle with the game module that I just added was Hangman and it's basically the same thing as doing the crossword puzzle but in this case Hangman on chapter one if I want to and I can say it's from uh, instead of a glossary I can say it's from questions and I can say it's from chapter one questions and I can say save and display I can do all those settings again and when they attempt the question oh, I didn't have that set up right well apparently that only works with the glossary and here's the glossary the most common external peripheral connection you have three tries it's three letters you can see as I'm going through here I'm building my little head there and then I go oh wait it's U S B uh, and if I don't there I got an 89% because I answered it with the least amount of body parts showing up there and if I let them redo it they can keep playing hangman until they get the highest grade because maybe I set it up as the highest grade maybe I set it up as the last grade if I do the grades in here you can see my default is highest grade but you could also do it as the last attempt first attempt normal settings for Moodle activities um, so the next one uh, which is kind of fun is the uh, who wants to be a millionaire so I'm gonna go down there oh there, I'm gonna skip hidden picture and go who wants to be a millionaire basically it's the same kind of thing I'm gonna do it off of questions I'm gonna say it's a who wants to be a millionaire on chapter one again I can set all those other options for grades and access restrictions up but the way this one works is that you've got a 50 50 uh, call your friends uh, pull the audience uh, for the questions as you go. So what type of slots in the motherboard or PCI, PCI, AGP, and ISA? 
their expansion slots. Yay, I now have $200. One component is currently the cheapest and easiest way to speed up your PC. I don't know, 50-50, and then half of them go away. Oh, yeah, it's memory, and now i got $300. Temperature's over. Oh, no, I'm going to I'm gonna phone a friend. They think the answer is 185. I'm going to go with my friend. Yay, my friend was right. Um, the configuration of the PC is held in, and you can do the poll of the audience if you do that one. Now it's got it right here. Most of them say A. Okay, I'll go with A. And now I'm out of lifelines, and I have to answer them all on my own. And you see how it works up to 150,000. That's kind of a fun game as well. And all these you can set up so that no one has access to unless they've got a particular project done, um, they've got a particular assignment done, it's extra time that they're really doing stuff having to do with your content, but they're getting to do it in a fun gaming way with their extra time. So the kids who, who don't have things done maybe can't access those things. I highly recommend that so they don't waste time on a game when they have an assignment due. But for those kids that get their assignment done, what do you have them do that's related to your class at the end of that time? And that's where these are really, um, really nice. You can see there's other games. There's hidden picture that you add a picture and it reveals the picture. There's the snakes and ladders game, which looks just like a snakes and ladder game. Um, so Dooku, I have not even tried that one yet. Let's try that one right now while we're together here. I'm just going to leave the name. We'll use the glossary of tech terms and see what this looks like when we do this game. I don't know how to play this Sudoku. So, oh, it's trying to help you with the numbers. Um, a1 refers to how much data you can send through a network or modem and is usually referring to BPS. Answer is bandwidth. So what happens when I do that? A1. Guess the correct number. I, I don't know how to play. I have no idea how to play Sudoku. So I'm not a good example of this one. If you are a player, maybe you'll know how to play this one better than I do on this because I have absolutely no idea. Um, snakes and Ladders looks just like Snakes and Ladders. Basically, you're working your way uh, around the game board uh, as you play that one. And maybe maybe it's a little more elementary schoolish, but you can see it's the Snakes and Ladder thing. But you're answering questions and your stars moving around the board and it randomly rolls numbers until you obviously get to the end of the game. So that's Snakes and Ladders. But you're, again, still doing all your content. I have not figured out what books and questions do, does. I've got to figure that one out on my own. And um, I haven't done the hidden picture one yet. I'm assuming I have to add a picture here someplace. Uh, where do I add my picture? Header, footer, module, restrictions. I don't know what's going to happen on this. No, you must select a glossary. Continue. Edit settings. Glossary, tech terms. I don't know. I'm going to have to play with this one. But you saw the, saw the idea of the other ones. They're really nice. They're definitely uh, relevant to your course. You can use them as rewards at the end of sections uh, so that they're still learning things about your course. Um, but doing it in a, a different and fun way. The other game that's in here, which actually um, I haven't shown recently, and I should bring in with this one, is the, where is it at? Oh, there we go. Active, no. Oh, there we go. Quiz Venture um, one. So if I do a Quiz Venture... I'm just going to throw a value in here, um, and I have to pick, yep, let me expand all, I have to pick, pick a question category, so I can just say uh, chapter two questions, and I can say save and display. This one, I'm actually trying to shoot the right answers while I'm playing the game, so I use my keyboard to move back and forth, and I have to answer the question it is really hard to do this one well I'm just gonna tell you that right now it's it's pretty pretty difficult but that's another game that you can have students play um, related to your content but you really have to be careful with the questions you pick there because it's pretty darn difficult 
So that's it for the games that are available in Moodle right now. It's all related to the gamification one we've done before, along with the activity completion and restrictions one as well. But it's some uh, neat new stuff you can do in your Moodle course to engage your students. I'm